Hi everyone, it's Civil Engineering Tutorials. In this video, I'll show you how to draw LCF staircase in AutoCAD. Please don't forget to click on the subscribe button and the bell icon to stay updated with all the videos from Civil Engineering Tutorials. Also like this video in case you find it helpful. So let's get started. So first I'll discuss something about LCF staircase. So LCF staircase is also called quarter turn stair or quarter turn navel. LCF staircase contains two flights and these two flights run at right angles to each other and are separated by a square shaped landing. Means two flights are separated by a square shaped landing and these two flights connected with each other with 90 degrees. Generally, this type of staircase is provided when wall support is on one side only or where we don't have enough space. This staircase is provided in entrance hall of apartments, party halls, etc. So let's start our drawing. So to draw the staircase, first we need to calculate total number of treads and riser. So today I will create only the l shaped staircase and in another video I will provide this staircase in a building. So let's start a drawing. So this staircase contains two flights. So this is the specification here building height is 10 feet and 6 inch desired unit rise is 6 inch this is the rise now landing is 3 feet and 6 inch as landing is 3 feet and 6 inch so width of staircase also 3 feet and 6 inch staircase length is 11 feet for one flight length of staircase 11 feet for one flight now total number of riser 21 numbers Total number of treads 20 numbers. Now total tread a run 15 feet. Total number of treads 20 numbers. Total tread a total run 15 feet. Length of one tread 9 inch. Number of treads for one flight 10 numbers. Now how to calculate number of rise and treads for LCF staircase? I'll provide another video. So let's start our drawing. So here we have two flights. Else of staircase contains two flights. Each flight contains 11 feet length. So staircase length is 11 feet for one flight. So L enter. Now specify first point here. Now specify the length 11 feet. Enter. Now this side again 11 feet. Enter. So staircase length 11 feet for one flight. Now here to here this is 11 feet. Again here to here this side also 11 feet. So we have two flights. Each flight length is 11 feet. Okay. So now landing is 3 feet and 6 inch. You can see here landing is 3 feet and 6 inch. So as landing is 3 feet and 6 inch, so width of both flights also 3 feet and 6 inch. So give offset, give offset distance 3 feet and 6 inch. Select click to this side, select click to this side. Okay. Width of staircase is same as landing as this is square set landing. Okay. This is 3 feet and 6 inch. Also this side also 3 feet and 6 inch. Okay. Now we need to create threads here. So number of treads for one flight, 10 numbers. So total number of treads, 20 numbers. And number of treads for one flight, 10 numbers. And length of one tread, 9 inch. Okay. Length of one tread, 9 inch. So give offset. Number of treads for one, fl one flight, 10 numbers. Length of one tread, 9 inch. This side, 10 numbers. And this side, 10 numbers. Length of one tread, 9 inch. Okay. Total number of treads, 20 numbers. Okay. So this side, 9 inches. Length of, give offset, give offset distance, 9 inch. 
select click here one two three four five six seven eight nine ten ten numbers of threads we have created on this side staircase okay on this side flight okay now this side again we need to create 10 numbers of threads so first i need to trim all the extra lines here so give trim command select this line and trim all the extra lines see i am sewing very slowly so that it will be easy to understand now again we need to create 10 numbers of threads on this side so give offset give offset distance 9 inch select this line 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and 10 so again we have created 10 numbers of threads on another side now again we need to trim all the extra lines so give trim command Select this line and trim all the extra lines here. So this is the L shape staircase. You can see here we have two flights here and 20 numbers of threads. Okay. You can see here this side 10 numbers, this side 10 numbers. Okay. Both side 10, 10, 20 numbers of threads. Now give offset, give offset distance 2.5 inch. This is the hand railing. Select this line, click to this side, select this line and click to this side. This is the hand railing, 2.5 inch hand railing. Okay. Now we need to join this line. We need to close this. So take line command again and join this. Again, join this. Okay. Now trim all the extra lines. Select these two lines and trim all the extra lines. Okay. So this is the hand drilling. Now I'll hatch this. So hatch this. Hatch. Now I'll do solid hatch. So select solid. Now click inside. Enter. So this is the 2.5 inch hand railing. So in this staircase both sides are supported to wall. So first I'll specify the direction. I'll mark the direction here. Again I'll mark the direction on this side. L E. is the another direction now I'll change the arrow size go to modify I'll make this one fit now you can see the arrow properly it's properly visible now okay now here both sides of staircase means both the flights are supported to wall. So we need to create wall here. So, so give offset. Give offset distance 10 inch. 10 inches. 10 inches wall thickness. Select click to this side. Select click to this side. So this is the wall. Now I will fillet this. So fillet command. Now radius is 0. 0 now select and select this this is the wall we have created so here both sides of this staircase are supported to wall okay so i need to extend the wall so extend the wall So here I am creating only the LSF staircase. In another video I will provide this staircase in a building. Delete these two lines. Okay.
Now copy the text. This is 3 feet and 6 inch landing. Three feet and six inch landing. This is three feet and six inch landing. See, I am sewing very slowly so that will be easy to understand. This is the wall thickness. This is here to here, this is 7 feet and 6 inch. This side also, same. Here to here, you can see this is 7 feet and 6 inch. Okay. Now this is 3 pin and 6 inch landing. Okay. This is wall thickness 10 inch. Okay. Here both sides are supported to wall. So in this staircase landing is 3 feet and 6 inch. So staircase width also 3 feet and 6 inch. Because air of staircase landing is square shape landing. Okay. So width of both flights and landing are same. Okay. You can see here. See this is 3 feet and 6 inch width of staircase. And this landing also same 3 feet and 6 inch. Okay, as this is square set landing. So, both flights, width and landing are same. Okay, width of both flights and landing are same. So, width of staircase. Is also 3 feet and 6 inch means same as landing. Okay. So this is 3 feet and 6 inch landing. So width of the staircase also 3 feet and 6 inch. Okay. See here to here this is 3 feet and 6 inch and this side also 3 feet and 6 inch. So hope you understand. This side and this side 3 feet and 6 inch landing also 3 feet and 6 inch. So this is the L shaped staircase. So in next video I will provide the staircase in a building. Also I will provide front elevation and sectional elevation of this L shaped staircase. So this is the L shaped staircase. So I hope you like this video. Now if you like this video then don't forget to like and subscribe the channel. Thank you for watching.